Hello everybody, I am Ranger Pop Girl or Ellie here, and this is another episode on a bus. Anyway, um, today we aren't really doing much. I think I'm going to go work for my dad cleaning out a garage filled with basically a bunch of junk. A lot of it, like he said there was a car in there and a couple of futons. I don't exactly know what a futon is, but we're supposed to just be throwing it all away. And what the heck? If I'm, why should I throw it away if, well, I could use it with my fort, which I have to show you guys, so that'll be interesting for you. Um, we'll go back to there eventually, but maybe if I find some things that I could use in my fort my dad will let me use it because you know he's in full support of me building this thing in the backyard so there are is a reason that i have not uploaded the video for a while and that reason is school the last video i did i believe it was stupid tests and stupid tests is the reason i haven't been able to make a video is because of end of level testing in fact my school district probably spends more on end of level testing than it does the food at school. So, um, yeah, it's, there's some difficult tests, but for now, I believe we're really at my stop. So, oh, look. That probably wasn't a very good view, but let's go. Will, you wouldn't have been to like those animals by any chance, would you? <laughs> Is that why you're petting them and playing with them? Okay. My brother is what we call an animal whisperer. Anyway, I just got the okay for my... Layla, no! Layla! I just got the okay from my dad to... If Well, he says that there probably isn't anything I could use in my fort. But if there is... Oh, we're going. We're going. We're going. What would I say? We're going scavenging, which is basically what I had to do to make my fort. Well, I have a bunch of, it's basically made out of old trampoline frames, a rope, and some tarp we had lying around right now. And so, I have to change from my nice clothes and these nice shoes to some other clothes. So, I'm going to go from nice clothes like these see, to some good work clothes like these. I mean these look nice but I spilled some salad dressing on my shirt during lunch and these shorts are kind of old so well I okay so this is one of my nicer shirts but since I uh, spilled the salad dressing on it I'd rather get one shirt more dirty and have to wash it which I already would have to do than to get two shirts dirty and double my amount of laundry for the day so yeah let's go you could drive it out Oh, so you can't drive the car out of the shop and into the dumpster. But we have, what, five couches? A whole lot of other furniture. No matches in, in here. Oh, there's a bunch of people. Oh. Huh. I found Axe body spray. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
I look like a doctor. Mm. Time to prepare your surgery. Scabble. No. Yeah. Okay. Hashtag problems. Okay. Covered in everything. We found a whole bunch of stuff here. It is amazing. And I'll show you everything I've scavenged. Let me get back. And we are back. And mm, yes, I know my hair is wacky and weird. And I'm just dragging the shower because I was covered in dust and filth and it was gross. And like. It didn't necessarily look gross. I mean, my clothes did, obviously. But I looked kind of normal. The dust wasn't necessarily on me, but I felt it. And it was, like, crawling all over. So, I only salvaged a couple of things because I found fleas. Um, this is now my most prized possession. So, we found this fancy box and I was like oh look it's a fancy box and I was like let's open the fancy box so there's a fancy latch shooter right here I haven't yet successfully opened this so let's see if I can figure this out Push. Just push. Ah. I need help. Help received. Look, you. You. You slide, not push. It slides. And it worked. First, it came with stuff. So, here's a. I'm guessing this is a flash. Don't entirely know. I don't even know where to put it on the camera, so. You have to remember that this is an old fashioned one, so it's like an antique. Like the first Polaroid camera. So, it comes with this, and. Voila! It comes with three lenses, and look, it's a tape measure. See? It measures in... Oh, inches. Oh, it's to measure from the close-up lens. Okay. Oh, and then, we have... Oh! camera. Now what's cool about this is watch. Truly old fashioned. Boom. And then. Boom. It doesn't have any film in it yet. But then to close it, you simply grasp, as shown, and voila! And then, voila! And it even comes with this handy strap right here. It's pretty bulky and big, and it... Yeah, it's not closing all the way. Are you interfering? Yeah. 
There we go. Now looky here. So, this is a film cutter. So you cut the film and then... There's where you grab your picture. And it only does in black and white because it only accepts black and white film. And then to close it... It's not closing, it's not closing. Switch. Now, this is the truly cool part. You see, you see this right here? Look, slides down like that. Then, look at the back. There's this, which I just showed you. And there's this. And then voila. And this is where the film goes. The big film goes over here. It's a big white film. And then the black film goes over here. And so. Yeah. I don't know that I'll ever be able to take pictures with this. But I mean, I have an antique. And then to lock it all up again, you just go like that. Oh, that's my close up there. And then, you just pack it all up again. Take this. The reason for this case is so is look. So. The wrong side. Then, you have the lens kit, just slide it in there, that's shown, and then you take the handy dandy how to use, hand flip, stick it right there, and that's all there is to it. But, I mean, come on, it's an and flipping and teak camera. To close the lap instead of having to force it in there, look. Slide, insert, release. It's all locked up. The strap was there, but then it it snapped because you know wear and tear. That's the table kind of thing for the hut I'm building, which you guys don't know what it is. <laughs> Um, basically what it is, is it's a studio in making, and the best part about this Polaroid camera is I worked on that garage for two hours, and I get paid $25, $7.25 an hour, which means I just earned $14.50, and I got an old-fashioned camera and a table for my fort out of it. So, you have no clue what the fort is, and you won't know until, like, June, so good luck with that. Cheers. And have a hell and good day.